Hey there, this is Ted over at Futurescape. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 3D geometry from a 2D file. So in this case, uh, we've got this AutoCAD file, which I believe is a DXF file. Uh, and we're going to take this geometry and use it to generate uh, 3D geometry. So uh, essentially, when you import this into SpaceClaim, uh, open it up in SpaceClaim, it uh, just brings it in as a bunch of 2D lines on a plane, essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go put this in the uh, top view just so we can see what we're doing. Uh, and then I'm going to select uh, this uh, edge chain by just double clicking on that line. And I'm also going to add in the circular region. So I'm just going to hold down Control and I'm going to click on those circular regions to add those into the selection. And then I just hit fill up here uh, in the toolbar, or I can hit F on the keyboard. And then I select this surface here. Now we're going to want to pull this surface by uh, just the right amount. And fortunately, we're provided with that information right here on the left side. You know, we have the uh, all the, the measurements and everything marked out. If I didn't have that uh, nice helpful uh, measurement there saying it was 0.75 inches, what I would do is I would grab this surface and I'm just going to move it, so I'm just going to rotate my view so I can uh, see it in a sort of a 3D view. And I'm going to double click on that rotational axis and it's going to move my surface 90 degrees. So then I just grab this, uh, this straight axis here, I'm going to select up to, and I'm going to move that up to this line here. So I think you know what I'm going to do next. Uh, if I click on the pull tool, I'm just gonna, then going to pull this surface up to the other line. So I was just using this 2D reference geometry. That's all I need to uh, to recreate this. So click on up to in the uh, in the tool options, and then click on that line, and it's going to pull that up to that line. And there we go. We've got a 0.75 inch uh, part, and we've essentially just recreated uh, the 3D part from the 2D geometry. So I'll show you another sort of more complex example. So over here we've got this wheel. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, just select again, select that uh, that region and do a pull uh, with a slightly different kind. So I'm going to select that, um, select this whole region here, just all of those lines. Uh, I don't need this green line, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Just holding down Control, and removing it from the selection. And I'm going to fill that in. Now, before I do my pull, I want to clean this up a little bit because this is going to give me some, some trouble if I try to... Uh, try to do what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm just going to select these regions here and just delete those, get those, get rid of those in the model. And just get rid of these regions here. Okay, so I'm just left with this, uh, this uh, cross section up here. I'm not going to worry about these surfaces down here. Uh, so now I select uh, that surface, and I click on the uh, pull tool this time. And instead of just doing a straight pull, of course, I'm going to use a rotational pull. So I'm going to click on Revolve uh, Tool Guide, or you can hold down Alt. doesn't matter which method you use. Uh, and then you just click on uh, this line here, and that's going to select our rotational axis. Uh, and then we just do a full pull, and it's going to pull that all the way around, rotating it around that axis. And there we've got our wheel. So in just a few simple clicks, we're able to generate that uh, fairly complex geometry um, just based on that 2D cross-section information. So that's, uh, I mean, that's the gist of uh, doing 2D to 3D. Uh, whatever uh, file you have, it's going to be essentially the same um, workflow. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.